Gentlemen, greetings. Okay, so remember the last time we uh, pulled off the wheel hub bearing and we had to like uh, get these dust caps off? That was a fiasco. Do you remember? All right, so here we go. We got new dust caps, right? And I'm gonna double check and make sure they're the right size. But we're gonna do something that's gonna make ourselves uh, future-proof this process. So if we need to ever pull that wheel hub assembly off, which you know, one of them doesn't look too good because it fell apart as I was putting it on. Uh, here is the uh, part number for it. It's Dorman One Three Nine Nine Zero. I got two of them because I mangled both. And uh, we need a couple things. I'm gonna get a center punch right here. All right, we're gonna let's go ahead and tap a little hole right there in the middle. Okay, here's my idea, right? So if I punch a little hole in the middle of that, all right, drill that out, what will happen is uh, I'll be able to, um, in the future, just take a, a screw, screw to screw in there and pull this off. That's the plan anyway. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> hope it works. Okay, so I got a one and, uh, this is one and, this is one eighteenth, uh, drill bit. Drop a little cut in oil right there. Let's see how well that does. When you're drilling into metal, you don't want to use high RPMs. So we'll clean that off. Okay, so that's our pinhole, right? The next thing I want to do is. Uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, this is all clean, free of grease, because we're going to put some uh, rubber cement inside of here. You can do rubber cement or, you know, like a clear coat. Clear coat would also work very, very well for this. Okay. So that's that. So in other words, the plan is, right, in the future, when uh, you need to actually get access to this and pull it off, take a screw, screw it in there, and you can pull on the screw. And that way you can yank the uh, cap off easily. Okay, so we'll clean it off. We'll use, a, we'll use some isopropyl. I'm going to use a 94 point, this is how, how pure is this? 99.9%. So in other words, it's pretty good. Usually use this um, for, um, for electronics. You're cleaning electronics, so hopefully I, in this natural life of mine, I hope to uh, get towards repairing those things, board repair and things like that. All right, so that's that, right? We're going to uh, replicate the same process on both sides. So let's go ahead and pop this open and do the same. So we give those a little bit of uh, time to cure up and then we'll uh, put them on the car. Let's just clean this a little bit. The whole point of the dust cap is to cover this to protect it. Particulates to get from getting inside of the area right there where it will destroy the hub. 
Uh, you know. Make sure you have your dust cap on. So parts cleaner. I don't want to go too crazy because I have grease all over the place here, yeah, but get the idea. Just clean it out. If you're wondering what this uh, is, it's uh, the, the red stuff. It's um, high temperature uh, grease. I coat the rotor and it keeps the uh, rotor from corroding because uh, the water and salt gets back here and just destroys everything. So you can always coat your rotors with uh, high temperature grease and that rotor will never corrode. It's, it's like a barrier. Can you, you can kind of see it's like a little bit of dust and dirt mixed in with the grease. So you can see the uh, rubber cement has cured. It's a nice thick cured layer of rubber cement. So that should block out any sort of particulates from getting in through that hole. And I hold it sideways to see if it's still running or not. That's how I know it's cured. So there's no more runs. So yeah, we're done. Let's just tap this on. You can see that, all right? See how that, oops. You can see that didn't go in too straight. Uh, you can see the uh, ring. Yeah. Not exactly the most consistent ring. Let's try it again. Video, sir. That looks good. It's not gonna go anywhere. All right. No wonder it was so hard to take off in the first place. So do it to the other side, and then that should take care of your problems when you need to repair it in the future again. Just take a screw, screw it into there, and pull it like that. You can pull it with a um, a vice grip, uh, like a slide in. Um, what do you call it? A uh, slide hammer. Yeah. Attach a screw at the end of that. I'll show you uh, in a link at the uh, end of this video so you can see me making one of those. All right, they're really useful. All right, thanks again, hope you liked it. Go ahead and thumbs up, like, subscribe, let me know how you uh, this works for you. And uh, yeah, good luck, all right, thanks. Don't forget to uh, leave your comments below. Have a good day.